I look inside of Groove Pages right now, 2023. This is January 20th, 2023. I'm inside of Groove Pages. If you don't have an account or if you want to know more about Groove overall, there is a link in the description. It'll take you over. You get access to all these tools for free. I backed this project when it first started. I was looking for a cloud based page builder. Groove Pages and Groove Funnels is what that cloud based page builder became after I backed it. And this is basically what I use Groove for. I use the page builder for bonus pages, for sales pages, and it does just about everything I needed to do. So if you were to go in to a site that you create and inside of Groove or Groove Pages and Groove Funnels, you build sites. And then inside of those sites, what you have access to or what you build inside of that site or a website is pages. And simply, it works like this. You click the plus button, it brings up the templates and they have all these templates. Of course, this is the paid version. In the free version, you won't be able to use, you'll have access, you'll be able to see these premium templates. So for example, here, if you look, you can see the template, then you can import the full template if you have the full paid version. But that's the concept. You can see here that these are the different pages once you build them in the site and then they have the ability or you have the ability to set as a home page you can rename it you can move it you can clone it you can duplicate it so duplicating it means you duplicate it right here in the site if you click the clone button you have the ability to clone this page to this site or you can move it to a different site for example you can see the list of sites here that i have created so that gives you the ability to build a page inside of a site and then move it to a different site maybe a staging area or something like that, then you can clone that and that's what the clone feature is versus if you were to select duplicate, it literally just makes a copy right here in the site. Then there are funnels. Funnels are basically a collection of pages. They do have these templates here, two pages, five pages, four pages. And again, these are just templates. You can see here that you can import the full template, which would import all of these pages or you can select the individual pages and then that will create a funnel or a collection of pages inside of group pages and group funnels. Really group pages and group funnels being the same thing. Webinars, I don't use this, but they basically, or these are basically pages where you can use these templates that are geared towards webinars or promoting webinars. Pop-ups, I very rarely use this because when they first came out with pop-ups, this broke a lot. Again, I'm not a fan of the pop-up. I don't use it, so but they are available. Cancel that, that would add the pop-ups. And those are the assets inside of the site that you build or the pages. So website, funnels, webinars, or pop-ups are the pages or the elements of pages or the elements, specifically the pop-ups, are the elements that you add to the pages. Now, when you come back here to elements, you have your Groove apps. So Groove webinar button, a Groove cell button, a Groove mail form, a Groove cell checkout. So for example, on this page, which is basically just a squeeze page with a button, in this case, this button just links over to an offer or an affiliate offer or another sales page. If you wanted to make this a squeeze page and you were using Groove mail, you would simply click Groove apps and then you would select the Groove mail form. You would drop that Groove mail form in right there and then you would select the Groove Mail form and you can check those breadcrumbs down there. Body, block, container, layout, two by two container, Groove Mail form, because this is a block based page builder, meaning it's built in blocks and then you drop blocks inside of other blocks to build the page. Select the cog wheel. You can then select the Groove Mail forms that you've created. So you have to create the Groove Mail forms over in Groove Mail, then come back into Groove Pages. Of course, the order of operations there being Create the Groove Mail form first, then come back to Pages, and then you have access to those Groove Mail forms, and then that would integrate with Groove Mail. Typically, the way I do this is I come under Elements and I use the form element, and then I drop in an empty form. And then once you drop in an empty form, then you use these text areas or these input fields and a submit button. And then when I do that, I drop in the form field, and then when I select the form field, what you have the ability to do is configure that and then you set up the input 
And for the form container, I use integration and I integrate with GetResponse. It is the email autoresponder that I use. I do not use GrooveMail in my business. There were issues when they first started with GrooveMail. They had some spam issues. Now they are working to fix those, but GetResponse gives me the things that I want to include automations. There is a link in the description for GetResponse for a free account. Also videos here on the channel where I walk through integrating GetResponse with Groove Pages. So that's what I do with that. Now, if you move down to global blocks, this gives you the ability to create these global blocks, meaning that you create a block once and then you can reuse it. They call them global blocks, but the last time I played with this, I believe it is global to the site, not global to your Groove funnel or your Groove pages account, meaning you can't create it here and use it in other sites, but you could use it here and then do a clone and move it over to a site. Uh, but basically you create these blocks and then you can use them. Once you create them, you can use them inside of the site. And you simply just use it just like you do with all the other elements. You have the designer, the wireframe, the direct response, the pop-ups, the mega menus, and then ones that you create and save yourself. You also have blocks that you create down here, or maybe those are the saved blocks. But the idea here is these are done for you. So inside of the designer blocks, you have alert bars, call to action, checkout forms, contact us. You can see all these different elements or these different blocks that have been created. So really all you're doing is looking at the elements that have been created for you inside of Groove Funnel or Groove Pages. And to get out of that, you can simply just X that or you can exit or delete it right here. If you create one, you go up here and you save it, you save and exit. Of course, you're working on the block that you're building here. So you're building a global block and then you can save and exit that. If you save and exit that, it should take us back to the page that we were working on. And there you go. You can see the content was saved and that is global blocks. Again, I don't really use it. I'm not really that advanced when it comes to website design. I use this for a very specific function of, in the case of my business, bonus pages, squeeze pages, landing pages, avatorials, things of that nature. And then you come down and depending on the page that you select here, you have the ability to go to settings. You have the page settings, so page information, some SEO, metadata, open graph. You have an SEO score here styling this has to do with fonts for the page as well as some css code there's some default code here tracking codes here for example pixels google pixels or facebook pixels redirection this enables the page to redirect to an internal page or an external page so if someone goes to the page it'll automatically redirect them you can select that right there, external or internal, select one of the pages, and then set up the redirection. Exit prompt. This is going to be some type of prompt where if you enable this, if someone wants to exit off the page, they'll have to say, yes, I did intend to exit. All of these are features, again, that I don't use or haven't used, and some of them are new. Here you have page backups. You can see there are no revisions for this current page at the moment. So what this would be or should be is a list of whenever you make a change, then you would see the change here. Let's go ahead and try this and see if this works. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. So what we'll do is we will delete this and confirm and then say save. And then we'll go back to page elements and see page settings, page backups. You can see here there still says there are no revisions for this current page at the moment. So the thing here is you may have to actually publish that. So we'll skip to publish and you'll see this. You have to publish the website or publish the current page. We'll go ahead and publish the website just to see. And all this does is push the elements or push the design that you have here inside of group pages over to actually be published and live on the internet. And of course, if you click this, it'll actually take you over to the site. And then you can see the site that I've created. You can see it still has that page right there or that information because it actually took me to the website, which is the groovepages.com forward slash and the name of the folder right here. If I wanted to go to the site that I'm working on, again, the page is the element I'm trying to get to or the site I'm trying to get to or the page on the site that I'm trying to get to. If you go back under publish and you go to that current page, you'll see that this is a different page where I've deleted that. Now, 
back to what we were looking at under page settings. We want to look at page backups and you can still see there are no revisions for the current page this moment. So I'm not sure why that is not working. But again, that is what I wanted to show you in this video 2023. What's going on right now, the way this is working. You can also save this as a template. Upon saving, this template will be available under my templates when adding a new page. If we were to say yes, this will save it as a template. And then if you were to go back to elements, there should be one under here, maybe under global blocks, under templates. If you were to select this button and go down, saved my blocks. Well, I thought it would be here. Again, elements that I do not use. When you're looking at using this tool, that is the power of the tool is it has all this stuff that you can use, but I honestly just don't use it. And I just wanted to walk through this with you. And those are the page settings. You can see I saved it as a template. We'll go to site settings here. This is the site. So this would apply to the site as a whole. For example, if you were to publish this as a site, if you were to go back over to publish this and we'll go ahead and we'll save and exit that because we were in global blocks that will take us back to the page under this setting, the site settings. If you were to go back, you'll see this is the name of the site. Go back to publish under the hosting options. If you were to publish to a custom domain and select one of the domains that you have, one of the domains that you purchased from a name registrar, then that would be the site. So the site would be, in this case, 30minutejv.com. That, that would be the settings that you'd be playing with here under site settings, SEO, styling, tracking codes, redirection, cookie alerts, all that kind of stuff right there. You can see here, you have the option for publishing robot.txt as well as a site map. Then you have the ability to share a site here. This allows you to add a link and allows you to share this site. Share this site with someone else with a Groove account so they can import the site and then they can use the template that you shared with them so they can build their own site based upon the template that you're sharing with them. Not share the site like share this link so people can go to the site. Go ahead and exit that. Then they have uh, export site, which is going to download the site right here, or it should have if I click export site. Yes, it did right there. It downloaded site.zip. If you were to show that in the finder, you would see when you open up that zip file, you get inside that folder, you're gonna see you have all the CSS files or the CSS file and the JS file, the JavaScript file, as well as all of the HTML. So you could take that and you could actually import that over to your own hosting. So you could have a backup of this page of all the sites, of all the pages that you created in the sites. You could have these files and you could take these and put them on your own hosting. So that would be a way for you to back it up or share it as well. Then you have instant edit bookmark, bookmarklet. Honestly, I'm just going to leave this here and say, read what this is because I do not understand this and I have never played with it. Who, what, where, why, how, why, I don't know how, click on that button and read that page. Then you have, or we covered all that. Then you go up here, you have the ability to look at the layout for all the devices. So this would be a big screen like an iMac. This would be a laptop. This would be a, a iPad or a tablet, horizontal and vertical. This would be a mobile device. Then you have this toggle switch here, which applies changes to just the mobile device or just the tablet. If you toggle it, if it has this orange, it means you're applying the changes to all of the devices. Then you have these buttons here where you can undo and redo. Then you have this preview button and you're going to see down here, this is a preview mode for the current page only. Links are disabled. And then if you come over here, you have access to the code. So then you can come in here and you can directly edit the source code. And then of course we covered the publish button here. This takes you back to the dashboard here. You have access to all the other apps that are inside of groove. Again, there's a link in the description to get a free account. So you can take a look at this, see if this suits your needs. Again, I backed groove pages and what became groove like you see now back in May, 2019, specifically to get this cloud based page builder. Now this one thing here, manage domains, this takes you over to your personal information, contact information, business information, 
Also where you can manage your domain, here is the group pages domain that you get with a paid account. You can set that up. You can see mine is glb.groupages.com. You can also manage, or here's where you manage your custom domains or the domains that you buy. Click manage, you can see here, these are your domain names. You manage each one of these elements for Groove Cell, Groove Member, Groove Blog, blog Groove Cart, and then you have access to DNS configuration settings here inside of the domains tab if you're using the DNS settings or if you set it up to allow Groove to manage your domain. And that is actually done through Cloudflare, but it is done through Cloudflare now and visibly through the front end of Groove. Then you have information here about different plans. Of course, I'm on the unlimited plan. I backed this in 2019. So your plan or whatever plan you're on at the time will look different here. There is this premium lifetime thing that I could upgrade to, but I'm not going to because it has something to do with their image editor or something. Then you have billing settings, developer settings, API key, vendor settings, payment gateways, affiliate settings, and different app settings. Here you can see pro members get free storage and encoders. I only got 100 gig here with the plan that I backed again way back in 2019. Cancel that. And here you have your integrations and you have the Groove Partner Program. And again, my accounts and settings. And that is a quick walkthrough of Groove Pages, how I use it, how, what, when, where, why. Just a quick look at what it looks like right now, January 20th, 2023. Some of the things that I do with it and some of my thoughts on it and how I use it. If it was helpful or if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you later.